five. On this Sunday morning, heading up to South Boston.
everyone else is in the right lane. Friday morning in South Boston, Virginia. And I knew if I was gonna go through Atlanta, I was gonna hit Atlanta about 5.30 p.m. or so, and I was just, and I had just enough time to make it. So we shut down there at Newman, Newman, whatever. Newman, I don't know the name of the town. You know where it's at. Small little pilot. And I woke up about, 7.30, 8 o'clock, run there somewhere. Just incruciating, just, I mean, the worst pain ever on my left side. I don't care to say it, but I mean, it was enough pain where, I mean, it's leaving me in tears. I mean, bad, bad, bad. I, I don't know if, if it's fair to say the worst pain that you can feel, but I mean, take your breath away. I mean, it was hard to breathe. You know, like every time you breathe, it, it just hurts more. So, so I sat there for about an hour in the back of my mind thinking, well, <laughs> it's a part of getting old. You know, maybe it just pulled a muscle, you know, maybe it's just indigestion or gas or something, you know, something crazy like that, you know, and it got to be an hour sitting here in my bunk, like, I, I, I'd get up from the bunk to the front seat, and that was about it, I mean, you're not going any farther. Call her than you know a police 
I called her up, told her what was going on, yeah. Yeah. and and me not thinking straight again, I'm thinking like appendix or something, not thinking clearly, you know, like, oh, your appendix is on your right side, I mean, you know, your pain's on the left side, so you're good there. I'm thinking, like, oh my gosh, what if my appendix burst? You know, I've heard that people die from that. Wow, I don't know what to do, you know. So, you know, that's what I called Serena. And I told her what was going on. And, you know, at that point, I was not in the greatest of, like, pain Pain factor, like, tens the worst. I'm probably, like, hitting around an eight or nine, you know. Like, this, like, you can't even get out of bed, you know. So I opt, you know, and I called 911. Trying to tell them what's going on, you know. And they were the, the best. This is probably the first time I ever had to call 911 for myself, you know. And uh, they were there, I mean, minutes, probably, you know, I'd say less than five, you know, three to four minutes, you know. They were there. And, and I seen the lights in the parking lot and I'm talking to the lady and she's like, can you let him know? Like, you know, because she got a description of what the truck looked like and, you know, you know can you put your flashers on? I was like, huh, I'm sorry, that involves getting out of the bed, you know, so yeah. And I, and I, at the time, there was a truck that was backing into a spot right directly across from me. So I was like, I told him, like, there's a truck right across from me. He's backing into a spot, you know, so they, so then they finally found me. And, you know, I ain't gonna go through all that stuff, but, you know, they, they get me to the hospital, run all these tests, and, and, you know, from what they determined, it's either or kidney stones or appendicitis. So they said if it was appendicitis, what they weren't telling me is that's like like emergency surgery, surgery, you know. They didn't tell me that part. Thank goodness it wasn't that, you know. But if it was going to be that, I couldn't have anything to eat or drink at all. So she, so I was there for about an hour and a half, like you know, nothing to drink or nothing, you know. And once they determined it was the kidney stone. They actually said that there was two. One was small, and the other one was like a three millimeter, you know. So they gave me some medicine to kind of open the valves <laughs> to make it easier to pass. Plus, they actually gave me a little bit of morphine to kind of settle down and chill because I was not in the greatest mood. You know, everything was kind of hurting still. So she gave me the morphine, then after probably like 45 minutes, she comes back and she asked me how I was doing, and I was like, it's still, you know, I don't know what you guys did, but this, this morphine stuff ain't working, you know? So she calls the doctor, and the doctor come right back, and, and he's like, you know, asking me how I'm feeling, it's still, I'm like, it's still the same from when you were here, you know? It, it, it hurts bad, you know? come to find out that they hooked everything up to the IV and put everything in, but there's like a little, basically like an on-off switch to allow it to flow. They didn't turn it on. I mean, so within minutes, it was just like, oh, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> so we had kidney stones, people. That was the worst pain ever. I just, I can't, I, I don't know, it's crazy, uh, I, I can't tell you how that pain was, it was just, they kept saying like, oh, so this is equivalent to having a baby, I said, well, I don't know what it is to have a baby, so I can't determine the pain factor on that, you know, but I know it's not easy giving birth to a baby, but I still don't think that's like the same, you know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So we'll just let it. I just let it go, and you know, that's all everybody kept saying. You know, 
Well, now you know how your wife felt. I was like, well, my wife did this four times. You know, I did this once, so you know, there's no way it could be the same. You know, it's got to be worse having a baby. You know. So here we are, Sunday morning. slight pain, like lower back. It's probably due to a, probably a kidney infection now. And I'm not sure if I've passed this stone or not. You know, I was told that when you pass it, you'll know. <laughs> you will know. But, you know, not to sound gross or, you know, I don't know. But they said that, you know, your urine would be dark in color or if you pass it, you would see like a little bit of blood. But my urine has been not clear, but like yellow, not dark in the middle, you know? So I know I'm okay there. So so probably now I probably have a slight kidney infection because it just, it feels like right now, like I have a back pain. So I just, I gotta flush out, you know, cranberry juice, and water. They actually told me like no coffee for like four to five days. I had a cup of coffee this morning. You know, I don't know. You know. So today we're gonna, you know, once I stop and take a break, I actually have some cranberry juice in there. I'm gonna drink that and just see how we feel. Just, it's gonna take a couple days to flush it out, I'm guessing. But yeah, that probably was like the scariest day ever in trucking. You know, by yourself, not knowing what to do. out of your truck into an ambulance going to a hospital and nobody is around you you know thankfully Serena and the girls were able to come up and see me you know I was only about seven hours away she <laughs> she hauled the mail <laughs> she came up but even some of my friends nobody was around you know so and I knew some of my friends if they were able to they would they would have they would have come and hung out and helped me out best I could, best they could anyway. You know, it's good to know you got good friends out there, out here. And, you, and I'm not gonna sit here and name all these names and go crazy, but you guys know who you are. And you know, if you were there, you would have, you would have helped me out. So, you know, I, I appreciate everyone checking up on me. have to change things up. I gotta change, you know, I may have to change my diet some more. You know, I was kind of on the fence with the keto, kind of going back and forth, but now I gotta change up some of that, you know. You know we talked about, well, you know, keto, you know, like almonds and just other foods can bring on kidney stones, so I'm gonna have to change up the diet a little bit more and take some stuff out, you know. Be a little bit of a road to figure out what's going on. But we're feeling a little bit, well, actually, we're feeling a whole lot better from the other day. Now we just gotta fight this kidney infection and we'll be okay. We'll be back to 100%. Probably gonna be a little bit of a road to get back to 100. It's better than it was the other night. That was surely scary. All I can say from this, man, looking back, when, when this first started happening, I probably should have done something from the beginning, not letting it go for a couple days. You know, maybe I could have nipped this in the beginning, and it, it, you know, maybe there wouldn't have been the hospital. But you never know. That's the way it goes. long video if you made it to the end congratulations <laughs> there's no way to really tell the story without telling the whole story so so we're in North Carolina now we're gonna get going we've got another about 170 miles to our delivery we're gonna hang out the rest of the day and see maybe if we can deliver early tomorrow so 